Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. If you see a little tail wagging around, it's my little baby. He just wants some attention and he's just going to be walking around now for a little while. Welcome to my first update for my project 10 pan for 2021. It's been a month and a half or something like that since I introduced this um, project and I do have some progress to show you. If I am able to, I will insert the pictures of where I was previously, but unfortunately my computer is not cooperating with me right now, so most likely I will not be able to insert any pictures from where I used to be, but I do want to update you on where I am right now. So the first item that I'm working on, and spoiler alert, I did not finish anything yet, but I do have some progress. So the first item that I'm still working on is my Bare Minerals Primetime Brightening Pearl Eyelid Primer, and this is what that one looks like. I am... it's very thin, I have been using it I used it once since my introduction. I am not that good at using primers, even though they do make a better eyeshadow makeup sort of thing. But yeah, I am trying to use it, but it's very hard. It's very stiff and it's getting really, really old. I think I've had this for like seven, eight years or something like that. So yeah. I'm trying to use it and I will be using it up at some point this year. This has to be out of my collection, but since it is not a staple in my makeup routine, I just keep forgetting about it all the time. Then we have my Dior palette, um, where I have two eyeshadows that I'm working on. Uh, one of the eyeshadows I had a pan on, but I have expanded that pan, as you can see, this one in the middle there. I've also hit side pan, I hope you're able to see that, that I do have some side pan over there and I have expanded the pan quite a lot. And the best news ever is that I have hit pan on this shade right here. I'm not sure if you're able to see but in the middle there I actually do have quite some pan so I'm really happy about that. Um, I. I'm hoping and wanting really to use these up before the end of the year. I would love to have a palette out of my collection. It would be like the first one ever. And then we have from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, we have the Brain Freeze palette where I am working on the shade Goldbreaker that looks like that. And as you can see, I have had pan on this previously. And I do think that I have expanded the pan somewhat. I am juggling this highlighter shade with a highlighter in my Pan That Palette video. If you haven't seen it, I will link it somewhere up here so you can see it. But um, yeah, I am juggling those two, so I'm using them every now and then. So it will be a slow progress, but I do think that I am will be able to finish this shade by the end of the year. Then we have in Too Faced, we have a bronzer that I'm working on that also is the same thing. I'm working on another bronzer in my Panda palette, so for that reason it, I will be alternating between these two, but I do want to have this one out of my collection. And the bronzer I'm working on is the Snow Bunny. I think I have expanded the pan slightly from previously. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, I really like it, but I feel like the pan is going into the brown shade a little bit more than previously. Um, I really like this as a blush topper, as a highlighter, as a bronzer or topper for any of those. So it's actually quite nice to be using that. Then we have a liquid liner from e.l.f. This is just a liquid liner in the shade black. I am wearing it today. I've worn it a few times, but this is long from being finished, so and I have no way to show you how much I have used, so I will just be using it until it's used up. I really like this liner, and the reason I want to use it up is because I do like it and I do plan on repurchasing it when I'm finished with all of my other liners at some point. We have a lipstick. This is from Dior in the shade 277 Rose Declamation and 
as of previously I told you that my lipstick was not about the plastic line and I have started to dig it out um, and as you can see I think I've cleared out a little bit um, it is a lot of lipstick left in the lipstick once you reach the plastic part people don't think that but I have used this so many times for work I've used it uh, many times just for everyday makeup looks and everything so I've used this a lot and still there is very little progress so this will take me some time to use up so that's why I always make sure to dig out every last little bit out of lipsticks and lip glosses because there is so much product still left in there after you finish it until the plastic part so to speak then we have from NYX butter gloss in the shade creme brulee and this is what that one looks like I had to take the stopper out because this packaging really didn't allow me to reach any more product but once I took the stopper out it got so messy it is so so messy and I have so much product in there like a lot of product um, it turns out that this bottle is actually see-through I'm not sure if you're able to see but it is actually see-through so there is a lot of product in there I have it on my lips right now over the lip liner that I'm using in this pro pro project <laughs> um, I like it a lot but it's really inconvenient to use now since I've used, uh, taken out the stopper and this packaging really did not allow me to take out any more product so I had to take out the stopper and now I feel like all of the rest of the lip gloss is what's left in there and I just it's a lot and then we have two pencils we have an eyeliner from Pixie. this is in endless silky eye pen in the shade slate gray and this is what that one looks like um, I've used it a couple of times and I do have some progress to show you so this is where I was in the intro I'm not sure if you're able to see but and the second line here is where I am right now so I do have a little bit of progress to show and the other pencil that I'm working on is my lip liner from Saint Luke's in the shade spring rose and this is what that one looks like so it is a large one it was pretty much brand new when I started to use it but I have used it I think every time I've had anything on my lips I've put this one down first and I do have some progress to show for that so the intro I was up there and this second line is where I am for the first update right here so I do have some progress on each of the items uh, even though I'm not able to show you all of the progress um, I have used everything and I am planning on keeping on using everything in the future and I think the baby is walking around again yeah he's here he can say hello to everybody because he's so cute he's a cute baby who's a cute baby who's a cute baby he's a cute baby he's the cutest baby in the world this was it for this update. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to like the video down below. Make sure to subscribe if you already haven't. I would love to have you here more often. And I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye.